Hey guys, Erica Astrid. I'm reviewing another submission today from our giveaway. I'm gonna review Adam. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, I like the email. Short and sweet. And then I do like, you have some images in the email and then a link to more. So there's two stories in this one, which I don't love as much. I like it if it's two separate emails. It, it makes more sense organizing wise and stuff. I like these images. The colors are really pretty. This shot, the lips, oh my God, so good. I love that. So let's just look at these first. So I like it, but it doesn't really work for Kunst that well. It's a little too lifestyle-y. Or like it could be something, I could even see this somewhere in Mary Claire or something, which that's really cool. But just for Kunst it's more, we like it more weird and um, strange. So yeah, that's always the thing. It doesn't mean just because one magazine doesn't want your story, doesn't mean it's a bad story. It just doesn't work for that magazine. Um, I really like, so yeah, like I said, I love the lip one. I love this close up. Really good. I love the lighting. It's really pretty on this one. Okay, let's look at the images. So when you click on it, I like that, that you can see more because a lot of times I like a story, but then I wish there were more images to choose from. So I really like that you added all of these. Um, okay, it's a cute story, but it does feel a little bit like you didn't have a lot of direction with uh, posing and expressions. Her facial expressions are all very similar. Yeah. Also, one thing I really don't like personally is when the photographer puts the same image in color and in black and white. Like you as a photographer need to know, do you want it in black and white or color? It's like almost like you're not confident in your choice. So that's really important I feel like to know. I can see a really cool beauty story coming from you. I think this is what it is. I love your close-ups, but your further away shots are not as strong as the close-ups. Yeah, so just it's very flat. She's just standing there holding onto the pole. There's not really, that's the thing, there's not really a story here. You have some clothes put on a model and that's what it kind of looks like. I'm always interested in seeing a story. I always, when I shoot, I have like a weird character that I make up for the model and I tell them and then I want them to kind of get into that character and give me expressions based on that. So yeah, I think a lot of these are very similar, her posing and her expressions. And it's not enough for me. And if you do further away, just, yeah, it's too, even here, how she's gripping onto the rail, it's like the little things. Like, okay, relax your hand, chin down a bit. Like your elbow could be pushed out, so she has more like this pose. Make it more interesting. Yeah, and then, so it's like little tiny things you can change to make it more interesting. These images make me miss Brooklyn so much. Yeah, so I would say for you, um, I would love to see a beauty story from you. I think your close-ups are really strong. Um, work on a mood board more. Because I think the clothes, the clothes are cool, but I don't see a story here. Same thing. It, it's cute, but it doesn't work for cons. Almost too pretty, these ones. Let's quickly look at these. Yeah, going through these, um, and there are almost too many images. I like that I, that you sent more to choose from, but there's too many. Too many that are too similar. But you have to really, one thing, I think another thing that you can focus on is be more confident. Like choose the images you think are best. Don't rely on uh, the magazine or something to choose. It's good to have some options, but not too many. So there's always like an in-between. And same with, with her, like a lot of her poses and expressions are the same. But it's cute, definitely a lot of potential. 
Um, yeah, just make sure to have a mood board and don't, it's, it's also cool to have, to just do a shoot, you know, where you have the model, you have some styling and then just don't submit it or really make sure you submit it to the magazines that have that same vibe. I could even see this in like Lucy's. It's just different magazines have different styles. So it's really important to match that. All right, I hope that was helpful and I can't wait to see more of your photography.